We're back on Inside Tennessee. John North, a quick follow-up question on our lightning round. Right, we were talking about who should be the next leader of the ORNL, and I wanted to ask you, we heard maybe you think it should be a woman, Dr. Zachariah. Your thoughts on that? Well, I think that uh, the lab has the most diverse team, and I've seen firsthand the importance of a diverse, inclusive team. I think the lab deserves the best leader that they can have, and if it turns out to be a woman, they'll be fantastic. Do you, if you know, and I'm going to ask this question out of ignorance, within our national laboratory system, do we have any woman leading any of the labs right now in the United States? Yes, there is. Uh, Fermi Lab is led by a woman, and, and, and she was just recently appointed, so I think we will have many more in the future. So let's talk a little bit about, I'm curious about your thoughts about the young generation that's just coming out of our learning institutions. Are they as smart as you were? Are they smarter or maybe not so smart? I, in other words, I'm really curious about your thoughts about handing this world over to the young people who are coming out. Oh, I think I think the, the younger generation is much smarter. They're much better equipped, and and they have a passion for for the society that they live and work in. And I'm I, I have I'm really uh, enthusiastic about the future. We have heard a lot about the partnership between the University of Tennessee and the lab, and the move to help engineering and science students at the University of Tennessee move into jobs at the lab and maybe stay in East Tennessee and continue that work. Um, can you give us a sense of where that stands and whether it's growing or where that program and partnership lies in your mind? Uh, in, in my mind, I think that the partnership between the University of Tennessee and Oak Ridge National Laboratory continues to grow. It, it, it started, uh, well, it, it dates back 80 years, uh, but since UT Battelle, since 2000, it has grown dramatically, and under the leadership of Randy Boyd and Chancellor Plowman, uh, I think uh, this is going to dramatically expand, and I think one of the, one of the opportunity for the next director is to define an, a, a, a tremendous future for that partnership. Dr. Zachary, we talk about the economic impact of the lab. What is the biggest misconception or unknown that you think exists about it? It's not that far from Knoxville, but again, if you talk to somebody about it, sometimes it's an opaque conversation. I know, it's a, it's a, it's a missed opportunity. I think that uh, um, one of the things that I wish I had a little bit more time was to really uh, make make the mystery about the laboratory go away, make it a little bit more transparent organization. And I think reaching out to, to East Knoxville, for, for example, I recently joined the, the Urban League board in order to have a more intentional engagement to the broader, a broader community, because we need everybody who has an aspiration to come work at an organization that is a cool place to work and, and actually compensates pretty well as well. Well, it is definitely a cool place to work having walked around there. I'm just wondering if there's anything on your wish list that you didn't get or that you're wishing for your successor. I think, I think uh, my successor has a great opportunity to consolidate and build on the partnership between University of Tennessee, TBA, and Oak Ridge National Laboratory to make East Tennessee one of the more creative, innovative, uh, hub in the U.S. I think there is no way U.S. can compete uh, with with other countries uh, without places like uh, you know East Tennessee or Knoxville, the greater Knoxville area, being a significant part of it. And I think that's a really important opportunity to leverage. Dr. Zachariah, we only have about a minute left, but. I started with a question and I would love to leave with questions from you. What are the couple of the big questions the lab is tackling now that you think we'll see some answers to? I think we, we are tackling some of the important challenges. You know, fusion is an, is an area where the lab is leading the international partnership as well as the domestic uh, opportunities. Uh, fission is an important area. Our, area. our activities in isotopes broadly, medical as well as for deep space exploration and national security, continues to grow materials. So I think for everything that we think about reshaping the future, uh, I think we'll go through Oak Ridge National Laboratory and East Tennessee. Dr. Zachariah, you've been generous with your time. As always, we appreciate having you on Inside Tennessee and wish you the best of luck, sir. 
thank you so much. This community has been so great to me and my family. I really appreciate it and thank you, everybody. Well, we are glad you're staying as well. And just a reminder, if you've missed any Inside Tennessee episodes, you can always go to the WBIR page and check the Inside Tennessee section. There you'll find all of the past Inside Tennessee.